We've got a sport journalist joining us all the way from France, Mike Okuli. Thank you so much, Mike, for joining us on the show today. Thanks for having me. Uh, Mike, I know that you are in the French capital and already we are feeling the balls from the opening ceremony. But uh, let, me, let me ask you, what's in the air? What can you feel in the air so far that you've seen uh, before the opening ceremony? Uh, I think it's, it's magnificent. This is the first time uh, me witnessing uh, an opening ceremony happening outside mm. uh, the main stadium. But before I continue, you know, Nigeria and Ghana, we have this uh, sweet rivalry. Yeah. Uh, let me uh, uh, <laughs> let, let me say that one of your panelists was trying to <laughs> attack us, and uh, I won't allow I won't allow that to, to, to fly. Please defend, defend yourself. Me, to fly, but <laughs> yeah, I'm defending myself in the sense Go that ahead. you know we were we were given a directive as to the number of alley we will parade for the opening ceremony. Mm. It is not because. We wanted to parry fewer number of animals. Okay. So that one has to be established. We, we were told by IOC and organizers to parry the four animals and then the officials. So it is not because we were few and we decided to parry only two animals. But in any case, like Ghana will always be ahead of Nigeria when it comes to sports in every aspect. Name it the Super Eagles versus the Black Star. You know, we've been able to. We've been disciplining you for some time now. So Ghana and Nigeria, mm. we are not the same. So let your, your viewers and your uh, your panelists must be clear on that. And when it comes to the Cholo sport, we are far, far, far ahead of you. So let's establish that fact mm. that Ghana will always be ahead of Nigeria. So we are Michael far. Cooley, I think this is three against one. And the fact that you're not scared that you're only one here, it's what you know, amazes me a lot. But it's all good. But can you tell us... Your, your number, you, you, you want to capitalize on your strength based on the numbers in the studio. But trust me, I'm a Ghanaian with a Ghanaian flag, so I can face you squarely. <laughs> All right, if you say so, but please do give us the feeling in the air already in the Paris um, capital, the French capital, I beg your pardon. I think, I, I think, I think um, Paris is ready, was, re was ready, and it's now ready. The opening ceremony confirms it. It is a beautiful city, and everything shows that yes, the, uh, the Olympic Games, they were ready to host it. Everything about the Olympic Games is solid on point from transport to accommodation to networking, wherever you want, the route, wherever you want to go to. When I landed at the airport, that I wanted to go to and have my, my accreditation, there was a standing bus for me to pick me, an individual, pick me, to pick me to whatever I needed to have my, my accreditation. After my accreditation, I was given a free travel pass that I can use from now to the end of the Olympics. So that should tell you that, yes, we are ready. A lot of these organizers, I don't know if there is a special orientation for the people of Paris, because when they see you and they realize that you are a visitor or you have your accreditation around your neck, they are like, what do you want? Do you want to be helped? You need any kind of assistance, and it is marvelous. Very, very, very. They are, they are exhibiting some kind of hospitality that you see on the part of Africans. They are ready to assist you. When they realize that your bag or whatever your luggage is, is heavy, they are ready to come in. Can I assist you? Can I help you? So that is it. And if you walk around the stadiums where the events are happening, people are ready. They are cheering their fans. I look everywhere you go. Paris is painted Olympic Games, and it is so, so marvelous and so, so beautiful. All right, but we heard about um, the delays, the long queues, the overpriced tickets, especially for those who are interested to attend the opening ceremony. With this opening ceremony along the River Seine, was it worth the course, Mike? Because um, with these problems encountered, uh, it's different from what we would normally see in the track, where we'd see uh, opening ceremony in, inside a stadium. This is different, a history-making um, style of opening ceremony. But some say it doesn't have that feel of the Olympic spirit. Do you also concur? Then what's the news about the delays, the long queues, and the overpriced ticketing? You know, overpricing, let me take it from the overpricing of the ticketing. You see, it is, it, it is characterized or influenced by two things. One, demand and supply. Demand is extremely high here. And so when demand is high, automatically, 
it will affect supply and it will affect prices. That one aside, the number alone, if the number is huge, it will surely affect the time that the organizers have they have fixed for the opening ceremony. Let me tell you one thing. The, the, the event was scheduled to start around 7 or 6 p.m. local time. At, at 2 p.m. local time, everywhere was blocked and people were running and rushing to the center to go and have a few of the opening ceremony. Even that time, five, four to five hour difference, still there was some kind of delay and people couldn't get to where they were going, where they were, the, the venue for the opening ceremony. So that should tell you that they were, they were their, their organization was overwhelmed by the numbers. And so it is normal, looking at the magnitude of the Olympics, the magnitude of the number, and then the, the number of athletes, the number of officials, the spectators, supporters who are yearning what the Olympics. If you go to the, if you go to their website right now, there are some disciplines or there are some events that are already sold out, and there are some which are not sold out, but the prices keep increasing, going up. So, for instance, athletics, the price keeps going up, 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 up. You don't blame them. It is the demand for that particular event that has increased. The, that has influenced the, the, the price up, up stage. So it, it, it is normal. It is, I, I would take it as normal. Thing. So that is it. That is it. It, it, it I, I believe that Paris have prepared very well, and I think they are leaving the But What about um, the critics talking about uh, the river saying opening ceremony not having the feel of that Olympic spirit? I, I don't... I, <laughs> I, let, let me pretend like I don't really know what the Olympic spirit is. But this, this is the point. We are used to having the opening ceremony at the, at, the, at, the, at the stadium. But this time around, what happened? We did it outside the stadium, very open. So the normal thing that we are used to will surely change. And you know, when there is change, it's definitely going to take certain things away from, 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 the, from, the, from, from the original thing, original event that we know. And it will surely add other vibe. This time around, Paris has set a bar, a standard of having the opening ceremony outside the stadium on a historic river scene. So what happens to the next Olympics? What are they going to do? I'm talking about the opening ceremony. So it is a matter of changing the dynamic. It's a matter of improving and making sure that the, 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 the little um, spices are added to the normal vibe that we all know. So I think it is good and they've, they've, they've extremely done it to the highest level as far as I am concerned. All right. Uh, we, we heard about a sabotage of um, the train I system. Understand. Yes, the train system before the opening ceremony and also the IOC did cancel the press conference just 20 minutes before the start of the opening ceremony with all these concerns even we heard about the argentine football team being robbed also australian cycling team being robbed with all these concerns what, what, do you think this game at this time with this raising growing concerns do you think there's guaranteed safety in the games before it will end on august 11. i i, I can assure i can assure you that the safety it's, it's, it's very, very. We are our safety is assured. Very, I can, I can, I can guarantee that. You know, there are some new, small, small skirmishes and other things that you, you, you would expect when big competitions like this is happening. My point is, they just started the competition two, three days of the competition. There will be a whole lot of hiccups, but I'm sure that after four, five days, Paris will warm themselves into the realm competition and trust me things will be fine i understand i understand the the hold on. i understand the um i understand the dynamics and then the the security concerns that people are raising we understand we know what is happening around the world we know how people's motives are and so it is it is understandable for you to see to 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 see people raises security concerns. But the point is that, yes, even minor, minor competition, we see this kind of minor incident, which is not good for, which is not, fortunately, it's not good. But here is the case that this is a very big event. Unfortunately, that event, you are not supposed to expand it to others. You are to 
post it in one city. So these are some of the things that when the competition gets under, um, you will see. There were a lot of questions about uh, terrorism and stuff. But as I got here, I first seen signs of it. And okay. before you will even go to the James village, trust me, the kind of thorough investigation that they, they, they will be subjected to, that should tell you that Paris is ready and they are on course to ensure that they have incident free um, 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 events, despite the pocket of robbery cases that we have witnessed. All right, um, um, we're hoping that um, this um, assurance you've given us will stay or linger till the end of the competition in Paris.